and welcome. So I want to talk um, today about um, spiritual awakenings. As we all know, the twin flame journey is a spiritual awakening, but you know, we are awakening as a human race. We are awakening and it is just the way that um, consciousness is going. We are moving as a collective, i.e. the whole human race, the whole earth is awakening to a lot higher vibration. Now, not everybody is going to take the path of the twin flame journey that is just one way that you can awaken not everybody will awaken in that way some people will and i want to just highlight that you can awaken in lots of different ways so some people may awaken um through career loss and um, suddenly their career that you know they've spent all their life working towards makes no sense anymore and they really start to go through that that ego death and that soul shock of what am I going to do? You know, my life doesn't feel because they have put all their energy into their career, all their energy and their whole, you know, schooling, university, everything into their career. And then suddenly they wake up or over time it slowly comes where this isn't what I want to do. And this feels now so uncomfortable. I, I can't do it anymore. I just cannot do it. What am I gonna do? Um, that is one way that people will awaken and they will get that call in the, you know, I just need to go and, you know, live off the land for instance, or go off traveling or, you know, I don't know, I'm just giving examples. Suddenly they have a passion for woodwork and. They just want to work with wood. They don't want to work in the big city anymore, you know, in an office. They want to get a, a workshop and live, live, you know, with the, in a meadow with, with wood and creating stuff. I'm just giving you examples of, <laughs> off the top of my head. Should have thought about that a bit more. But that is one way that somebody will awaken. Another way is a relationship breakdown. Suddenly their relationship breaks down and their whole world comes tumbling down. You know, their whole world, everything that they have built for maybe 15, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 years, 50 years, suddenly they, they, it doesn't make sense anymore. They, they, they're not, they, they don't feel connected to that person and they just cannot stay there any longer. And that can be really hard for them because, you know, they love that person, but they're not deeply, passionately in love with that person. And their soul is crying out for them to, to have passion, to have deep um, love, you know, that soul love. Um, and suddenly surface level love and just putting a sticky plaster on it it is not working anymore and they they can't do it anymore and they try you know i see many people going through this and they will try really hard because they don't want to hurt that person but it's just not working they don't they 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 can't live that life anymore it's just not working another way is maybe it's that they um, get a terminal illness or just a long-term illness um, and even some short-term illnesses you know can suddenly you know lay in there and you're not feeling well and you feel really ill and you start to suddenly you know look at your life and question your life and start to go this isn't what I need or want anymore and it causes them to awaken to their truth. It causes them to go in and an awakening process. You know, you go into that, first of all, that dark night of the soul. You go into that dark night of the soul, that ego death where everything starts to dissipate, where everything starts to crumble. And 
I need to swap hands. And if you know anybody that is going through this, the worst thing that you can say is, you know, come on, let's go out, let's cheer you up, you know, life's for living. Um, that None of that is going to help. In fact, it's going to make you feel an awful lot worse. So it may be a time that you take time for you. You know, this isn't a time of going, okay, let's just push through. Let's just, you know, try and get through it and put on a happy smile. You can't do that. When you're going through ego, death and dark night of the soul, you are basically uh, spiritually dying. You are basically going through a spiritual death where the ego is starting to dissipate. You know, all that conditioning is starting and the dense low energy is starting to, to dissipate, to move out. And it is incredibly painful. It, it, I often say sometimes it's worse than watching somebody else die because you're watching yourself. You know, all that thing, a lot of the time that you've worked towards is suddenly now going and 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 you start to question yourself at every level nothing makes sense in your life anymore but you know you have this deep inner knowing at a soul level that this is what you need to do this is what you have to go through and so this is a hard process you will then go into solitude solitude is is not a nice place to go because a lot of the time when you first go into it you'll feel lonely you will think that you're lonely but you're not lonely you are going into a place of solitude you know if we look at the tarot it's that hermit mode isn't it you know the first part is the ego death which is the tower moment where everything's falling apart dissipating burning then you go into the hermit mode um, where you know you've you've got to go within you've got to seek solitude solitude is very different to loneliness you know you will label it the ego mind will want to label it as loneliness but basically it's solitude the solitude is there so you can hear the whispers of your soul so you can really connect deeply and then from there after a time and you will lose friends and possibly family through this you know you will lose people that are no longer vibrating in your vibration anymore will just dissipate out and you'll be like how did that even happen i don't even know what happened and they've gone it's just what you go through and then you will start to go through the rebirth where you are starting to be reborn um, the rebirth is is a is a powerful part, um, and it can feel uncomfortable. You know, you will get and you will get these oscillations. These oscillations start when you start to go through ego death, and the big emotions that suddenly rise up, and it can you can feel panic and fear. Um, this is it's like riding the wave of the emotion, you know. And at that point, you need to become the observer be the observer of the emotion and not feed into the emotion you 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 know you have a body you have a mind the ego but who you truly are what what lives for infinity is your soul and the soul has no opinion on things the soul just is the soul just is a beautiful vibration where you have a, an emotion um the solar plexus emotions that should have could have would have is the ego mind that's where what attaches on and that's a lot of the time where you think you are the mind you know oh i'm feeling this are you feeling this or is the mind feeling this so try and disassociate a little bit but not in in a way of oh, i'm just i'm leaving that emotion you're becoming the observer what is it showing me what is it here to help me move through to grow through and, and when you start to do this, you can start to hold, you know, people that show up in your life that are showing you something, hold that mirror up and go, what is that here to show me? What is that here to help me grow with? Once you've started to go through that, you start to then, you know, the rebirth, you're starting to rebuild your life. You're starting to enjoy the new you, who you are becoming. 
and you start to move into that a luminous energy where people go god you're just glowing you're just glowing with energy you're starting to rebuild the new you and this takes time this whole process is not a quick few weeks process is not a quick few months process it does take time if you need more help and support my awakened consciousness is there to help and support you through this i send you much love many blessings Thank you.